Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Ricciardi, gut health expert, licensed pharmacist, and fitness enthusiast. I help clients resolve bloating, gas, and digestive problems so they can look and feel their best. In this week's video, we're going to discuss some natural treatment options for Helicobacter pylori, better known as H. pylori. If you're someone like me who tries to avoid using prescription antibiotics whenever possible and is open-minded to using an herbal natural approach, this video is for you. We'll go over some actual H. pylori regimens that were shown to work work in clinical trials, and I also have a regimen of my own down in the description with a link to my full script. H. pylori is a type of bacteria that when overgrown can cause stomach pain, and that is because ulcers get formed. Most people are actually colonized with H. pylori, meaning that there's some level of H. pylori bacteria in our bodies. So if this is the case, how come everybody isn't being treated for it all the time? The reason is having some low level of H. pylori in your body is not a problem. Same as pretty much every Everything else. To give you a comparison, most of us are likely carrying certain low levels of different viruses, parasites, bacteria that can potentially be harmful at higher amounts, and even things like worms. And we will probably never know that they're there unless we have symptoms or we do some sort of test that looks for them. So just because H. pylori is present doesn't mean you have to run out, go get your credit card, and order a treatment right away. Fortunately, the majority of the people that do have H. pylori in their system will never develop an ulcer, but if you are having symptoms and pain this may be worth looking into. Some common symptoms of H. pylori include the biggest one is probably stomach pain. With H. pylori it's actually common to get stomach pain when you have an empty stomach which is a little bit different than other types of stomach pain. I feel like it's more common that you get a stomach pain after eating. However with H. pylori you also can get stomach pain after you eat. Other symptoms that are common include bloating, nausea, and then loss of appetite mainly because if you have stomach pain you're probably going to be less likely to want to eat. If you have been diagnosed with H. pylori, it's usually a good idea to try to limit foods and supplements that can increase stomach acid. If you have a stomach ulcer, more stomach acid means that the pain and the ulcer likely will be worse. And this can also make it more difficult and take more time to actually heal this ulcer. So even though I'm always recommended taking betaine HCL, apple cider vinegar for a lot of other conditions, H. pylori is a little bit of an exception and it's probably best to avoid taking those things until the H. pylori is gone and the ulcers healed. Other acidic foods such as lemon juice, coffee, tomato sauce, and even things like carbonated water that are very acidic can make symptoms and stomach pain worse. The longtime standard treatment for H. pylori has been multiple antibiotics taken together with a proton pump inhibitor, also known as a PPI. This is known as triple therapy. In more recent years, quadruple therapy is actually more common. Fourth ingredient called bismuth was added. I'll discuss more about this later. While this is still a standard protocol and can be effective. There have been some issues with bacterial resistance and the fact that taking prescription antibiotics can have negative effects on the gut microbiome, potentially leading to other issues as well. This leads to the conversation about using herbal treatments for H. pylori, either in combination with the standard treatment of antibiotics or used all by themselves. Not all studies have shown that an herbal approach is effective for treating H. pylori, but in general, there's some pretty good evidence that the herbal approach can be effective. Recently, this 2022 study from the World Journal of Clinical Cases found that using an herbal boost, which is my term, to the standard treatment regimen found a 94% success rate in eradicating H. pylori. And this is compared to only a 70% efficacy rate when the standard treatment was used alone. For this study, the natural products that were added were two things. First is a product called bismuth subcitrate at a dose of 240 milligrams twice a day, and the other product was zinc carnosine 75 milligrams twice daily. As I mentioned, before, adding bismuth to the regimen is now referred to as the quadruple therapy, and this is the current Western medicine standard. With that said, this 2015 study from the Natural Medicine Journal demonstrated that herbal remedies can be effective all by themselves. This study used a regimen of mastic gum, oil of oregano, peptobismol, vital 10, and herbulk fiber. Mastic gum is a resin that comes from the mastic tree. This was used at a dose of 500 milligrams three times a day. ADP oil of oregano is also an herbal that can treat H. pylori. This was used at a dose of 50 milligrams three times a day. Peptobismol is a common GI symptom relief over-the-counter medication in the United States. This was used at a dose of four to six tablets daily divided in between meals throughout the day. Vital 10 was a probiotic. This is used to help replenish healthy bacterial strains and prevent the H. pylori from coming back. 
back this herb bulk fiber is i think this was used just as a prebiotic to feed the probiotics to make them work better so in this study results show that this treatment of only herbal products resulted in about a 74 percent treatment efficacy rate at getting rid of h pylori which is pretty good in my own personal practice i've also used mastic gum zinc carnosine probiotics and a lot of these other ingredients and they've produced good results in treating h pylori i have a two-week protocol available on my full script if you'd like to check it out there's a link down in the description i condensed the regimen down to only three products so it's a little bit easier to follow and may be able to save you a little bit of money more studies and continuous research are definitely needed to understand what the best natural herbal treatment regimens may be but from the studies shown here it does suggest that using herbal treatment in combination with the standard approaches or all by themselves may both be effective in treating h pylori that is all for today if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel i post a new full-length video every monday evening in youtube shorts throughout the week my content is all on gut health and fitness related topics thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time